homothetic functions is a certain category of functions that have a certain pattern that continues even if we have higher levels of the third variable that is the variable on the z-axis the pattern is conserved let us see how we can apply this uh, kinds a uh, kind of functions on the production function in economics the etymology of the word homothetic is explained here it's basically stemming from ancient greek language and uh, homo means same and thesis means setting placement or arrangement so homothetic is basically same setting or same placement or same arrangement so this is the whole thing the arrangement will remain the same as i already said that homothetic functions are a certain category of functions that retain a certain pattern so it is attributed to shefford 1953 and diagrammatically speaking homothetic functions generate radial expansions preserving both angles and ratios of distances so it's basically a kind of radial expansion in which the uh, same uh, kinds of curves will be repeated as you can see this is one curve and this is the second curve so they are getting repeated in this radial fashion and in addition to this radial expansion the angles are remaining the same and the ratio of the distances it is also remaining the same so let us focus on this diagram of uh, homothetic production function capital is plotted on x-axis and labor on y-axis now we have two isoquants here this one and that one now if we make two rays from the origin starting from here and going here the other ray starts again from origin and goes to this point we have these two rays basically these rays will help us to estimate the slopes now uh, if we consider this point as the first one this red dotted line is showing the slope and here this red dotted line is showing the slope and you can see that these two red dotted lines are parallel it means that the slope has remained the same in our movement from A to B that is movement from this isoquant to that isoquant same can be observed from point C to D where there is a blue line here as well as here showing the tangent or the slope of the isoquants and both of them are parallel it means that the slope has been conserved as mentioned here that the slope or in other words angles will remain the same now the ratio of distances is also likely to remain the same here we have mentioned in a symbolized way the thing that we have just understood with the help of this diagram and these red and blue lines this is from the first ray point of view and this is from the second ray point of view this is slope at point A which is equal to slope at point B slope at point C is equal to slope at point D and the ratio of the distances is also kept the same that is BA over BO that is BA over BO and here D C and D O if we take these ratios they will be equal and if they are equal then we can say that this production function uh, of which we have made two isoquants it is a homothetic production function usually we deal with homothetic production function because it is desirable for our analysis when we extend our production to a next level that is a greater scale or sometimes to a smaller scale but usually it is a greater scale in that situation homothetic production function is suitable so that we could conserve the pattern of the isoquant and we can analyze the returns to scale so this is a certain type of production function which is extensively used in our 
production analysis. Thank you.